and welcome back. In this video I want to have a look at the horizontal bandsaw. Um, I want to, at the moment the blade is quite a fair way back from where the jaws finish. So if I try and hold a short piece of stock, something like that, or something I want to cut, you know, if I've machined something and I want to cut the back off or anything like that, I just can't hold it very easily. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend the jaws, but I'm going to fix those to the existing jaws and then um, you know that's going to improve that situation a lot better so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the jaws off what are on there now I'm going to cut them on the shaper um, I'm just going to skim them because at the moment they've got some quite sort of bad machining marks in there and I just want to get them then also they're not perfectly square so I just want to square them up as well um, which has been another issue in the past with cutting some pieces and that so anyway, we'll have a look at the jaws and we'll see what sort of state they're in and then we'll get them on the shaper and we'll start to, um, you know, square them up. So at the moment, this is what we've got. We've got this jaw in here moves in and out on a screw, which obviously then tightens the metal in here. And if I bring the saw down, you'll see how bad that is to um, try and cut short stock. So as you can see, the jaw finishes here and then the blades over here. So if I wanted to cut, say like a 50 piece, 50 mil piece of stock, 50 mils about there, I just can't hold it, you know. So that's why I'm going to extend these jaws. And I want to come up here, you know, somewhere around here, just to the back of the blade. As I was saying, I want to just square these blocks off. You can see that they're quite sort of bad machining marks in there. They've been sort of just trimmed down for speed, really, in the factory. So I just want to square them off. There's all paint on this side, so you can tell that that's not square. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to skim that on the shaper, and we'll get that square to begin with, and then we'll have a look at the next stage.
I've got some scrap steel which I'm going to use for the uh, vice jaws. Um, this one's a bit small, but I mean, uh, that's the ideal length is there, but uh, it doesn't really matter. And plus I can just use some scrap pieces up, so they'll be ideal. So what I'll do is I'll get them cut to shape, and then we'll just um, surface those on the shaper as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
that's that mold finished so if we just bring the blade down you can now see we've only got a couple of mil between the blade and where the fence or the um, vice ends so if I wanted to clamp a small piece now something like this say and I just wanted to cut a bit off the end we can set this up like so and then this part here just obviously keeps the jaws square and that's all done so now I can start to cut short pieces of stock well that's another job off the list this job uh, I've been probably wanting to do for the last oh, God knows how long probably about a year or so uh, but just haven't had the time to do it you know other jobs I want to be getting on with but um, since we're off work at the moment with the COVID-19 it's an ideal opportunity to get some of these jobs out of the way so I'm happy with how it turned you know how it's turned out and I can start using some of my short stock up now so anyway if you like the video please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time